And so we're going to go through a bunch of drills, okay? <laughs> All right. Enough said. Enough small talk. First one we're going to do. These are my hoops. You can see I spent $2 a piece at Walmart <laughs> for these hula hoops. I like smaller hoops because I want those hips to be able to change directions quickly. Okay? I think that hip flexibility is so critical. So Steve, come on out here. Here we're going to go. Yes, sir. All right. So what I will do, you can see, I, and I'll put different spacing, but I usually keep somewhere about a yard to two yards within uh, each circle, okay? So you can see they're fairly close. You're going to see I have two towels in here, okay, on the top end, because one of the things you've got to be able to do as defense linemen is work at different levels as you are going through. And as you do that, Okay? If you do that, you gotta be able to do that without slowing down, without stopping. Without, you know, going through uh, your steps and all of a sudden there's a big change to your steps going through. So what's going to happen is, he's going to come through here, I'm not going to make him run full speed, he's coming through. He's going to come and circle around. As he comes through, we want you to pick up one towel right there. You're going to come through the other side, it's basically a bunch of figure eights, you're going to pick up this towel. You hang on to both of them, by the way, Steve. Yes, sir. All right. You're going to come through here, and now I'll have different finish methods for this. We either run this as a timed race. Okay, I actually have eight, eight of these set up, so I'll, I'll run races. Okay, with our defense alignment, see who's faster, a little contest, a little fun, a little competitiveness going on. Okay, but the main one we do early is we're going to have them come around here and come back this way. So when this over there, Steve, yes, we're going to start to finish, okay? Yep. He's going to come through here. I'm going to be right here. I'm going to step myself in. So now if I come in here and all of a sudden he's finished and he sees me going like this, he's going to match a hand. All right? So he matches hands on there. If he comes around and I'm sitting like this, all right, he's going to go strip sack right now. So he's going to work and finish to this drill, all right, that's going to simulate what he needs to do as a defensive lineman. So, Ski, come on up here, okay? You're going to just go, um, and normally what I'm going to do with guys, I'm going to have a teammate standing right here. I, don't I haven't talked about this yet. We don't look at the ball for our get off. We look at the near hip of the offensive lineman. When that hip moves, all right, we go. That's what we're, because that's the guy we got contact anyways. So we see that hit move, all right, and trust me, those teams are doing all this, and all of a sudden they check, they screw us up all the time. All right, but also know that I thought we talked to officials all the time, if they all go in unison and go up, and our guy comes across, that should be an offensive penalty. Don't get called very often, but we have gotten it that way. So we use the hip. All right, so we'll have one guy standing right here, so his hand is right here simulating the hip. Okay, so when the hip moves, he moves. So he's going to go around, he's going to come through. All right, he's coming through there. We match a the hand, there it is. Okay, so now, of course, we're hoping to get guys run faster than that, okay, but see, you're fine. Okay? <laughs> Don't worry about that. I thought I did pretty good. Yeah, yeah. 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 You, haven't, you haven't decreased that much since we're time. Oh, all right. Here we go. So that's one of them we're going to do right there. We're going to do this, all right? Now, I'm usually going to get guys doing this. This is one of the first drills we do, okay, every, every day. And I usually split up. Uh, I've been fortunate here at, at Dubuque, I'll have probably close to 20, 22 defensive linemen. And, and so we'll split up, half of them are doing, doing this drill and the other half are going to do the drill we're going to do next. The other aspect with this is when you got to really work at, is at an explosion coming off of this last one so that they explode, okay, when we see this. When you watch the film, Ski, we're going to do it one more time here. Yes, sir. Okay? What I want you to look for is here's some coaching points, things that I'm looking for. Okay? So, see, we're going to go ahead. I'm going to move my hand. Okay? We're going to pick this up. Here we go. There it is. All right? Okay? Now he's going to come through. He's just running it right now. I'm not going to be there for it. If you notice what happened, okay, especially on the first one there, okay, it's almost like he came to a stop to pick it up. We're trying to eliminate that stop. We want that, that player to be able to run through that thing. Now, it takes time. It takes practice. Right? 
And, and they do this, and our guys do this, probably two days a week, we work the hoops on this. And I want that hip flexibility so they can change directions and keep running fast. Okay. Any questions on the hoops? I have no market on this, guys, you can use it. And like I said, I literally went to Walmart and bought these hula hoops. Okay, that's what, that's what I use. I take an old towel, put it there. Only thing I make sure of is we have, uh, you know, somebody there to start them and then these cones. So they have a start and a finish. Okay? All right. The next drill, the player's thinking me as a toy court coach, okay? So we're going to bring out the, the ladder. This is one of my favorites. This is something that I've really gotten into. Our guys love it and they hate it. Okay? How many guys use a ladder or some type of footwork drill, right? Everybody's seen that? You're doing all of it one step in a hole, two step, all right? You do a little icky shuffle through there. Okay. When you're doing that, work on that footwork. Those are all great things. Here's what we're going to do. Okay? What's the defensive lineman got to do? He's got to be able to push those hands, all right? He's got to strike the blow, and he's got to do it quickly. And he's got to keep his balance when he's doing it. We're going to do the same thing, except now we're going to use our arms. So the ski's going to get down and basically it's four point. You're going to come straight ahead. Right here. Nope, oh. turn around. <laughs> turn around just like that. He's on all fours. All right? First one you're going to do is you're going to basically put one hand in each hole. Now when I do this, okay, what I'm going to coach him up to do is, hey, you always talk about thumb being up, right? You're in here. Okay? I want the same thing. I want that thumb. I want to push, push, boom, 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 boom. Right across the hole. Yes, All right, here we go. Ready, go. Boom, right there. There you go. Perfect. They're going to go through that. Now, I don't have quite enough room to do this. When they finish this one, okay, we're going to finish this thing with the same idea. Coach is standing back here. He's going to put his arm up. We want to match a hand. All right, we want to match a hand. The other way we will finish it is, and we haven't gotten into the pass rush stuff once I've taught everything that way, I'll keep a guy back here with one of our shields, something like that, so you come off and have to make a pass rush move. Okay, so there's some type of finish going on every time. So Ski, come on again. Watch his hands. All right, see if he does this. I told Ski earlier in the week he's going to get a workout today. <laughs> so he's okay. All right, I can move him like that. There he goes. Boom. All right. Now, do you notice how he don't come to a stop to come out of there, which is typical. All right. All our young guys have to do that. It takes a while to, to develop that sense. Okay. You can see we've had guys step on this. Now what we're going to do is we do the same progression. Okay. Just like you're doing your footwork. The next one is going to be two hands in each hole. Yes, sir. Ready, Ski? Yes, sir. Yeah, then you are going to get work out there, young man. There we go. All right. So there he goes. That's it. Ski, finish through. There you go. Good. All right, don't hurt yourself. I'm not liable for any injury. All right, I think I signed that paperwork, right? Right on. <laughs> okay, so what you're trying to do is how you got to put some pressure here. And just like a good defense lineman, you don't have time, all right, to wind up. There is no time. You got to be able to do this right now. So that's what we're working on. Now, okay. Now, you remember how to do the shuffle with your feet? You're going to do it with your hands. All right, so now, you, now you're going to get a little twist going on. All right, here we go. There it is. There it is. There it is. Good job. Ski, way to go, way to go, way to go. That is out of there. All right, good job. You can see now you're moving. You're putting, and one of the great things that has happened by doing these, guys, we have minimized our shoulder injuries. All right, with our defense alignment. There was such a banging going on with our guys all the time. And you know when I was at UWL, you know, you always get guys that are, oh, he's missing part of this practice, part of that practice, you know, whatever the case may be. We're trying to eliminate some of that. And what you're doing is working on a lot of those little muscles right here in that shoulder. And you're putting them in different angles with it as well. Okay? All right, the next one is you are going to come sideways now. So now we're going to work it. We're working sideways. We're going to start when we do this. We start with two hands in each hole. All right, so you're coming through and leaving right through the left in there. 
Leave your right, put your left in there. So it's just, yes, yes you got it. Cross, okay. Coming across, coming across, all right? Right in there, there you go. Boom, boom. There you go, right through there. Then we're going to finish up that angle, coming through again. He's either going to do a strip sack, he's going to work a pass rush move, he's going to work a match hand, whatever the case may be. Again, you're looking to finish that drill. Okay? So we're going to come through here now. This is the one. Oh, you're going to see some guys. But I'm going to put some strain on the shoulders now. Now they've warmed up. Now they've got it. So now what's going to happen, Ski, is you're going to start out here. You can put your right hand here, but the left hand's going to go to the next one. Yes, All right, so now you got a crossover coming in here. Okay, ready? All right, big guy, here we go. Boom. That's it, right there. Now, you can see that takes a little bit more coming with it. Did you notice as he was doing it, which is typical, Ski had, I wasn't doing these when I was at UWL. So this has kind of been a new one over the last, you know, five, six years, whatever. Uh, of coaching for me. Do you see how he started turning himself? Okay, what we want to work on, get that flexibility, that hand comes down, can I get this over here, with, can I keep my shoulders a little bit more parallel? It won't be perfect, but I'm trying to get away from a real big turn. Okay, <laughs> so think about that now, so keep it a little bit, keep it square, keep it a little more square. It's All right, right. Yep. here we go. There you go, that's it, that's it. Now he's coming out of there. Again, you got that thing. And now we're gonna work that one back and forth, of course. You gotta work it both ways as we do it. And, and how I do it, we usually have two of these ladders, okay, sitting out here. So we're working two lines going that way. At the same time, I've got eight of those hula hoops going on, all right? So I have, you know, two groups working on hula hoops. Uh, I'm fortunate I have, uh, guy named John Osweiler who helps me coach the defensive line at Dubuque who's a former head high school coach. He's re not completely retired, he's still teaching a little bit. We give him a hard time about that because I'm not sure how hard he teaches, but he, he's at that point in his life where he just wants to come out and help. And, and John has you know, a ton of experience and has been coaching a long time, so he helps me coach the defensive line. So he runs the hoops normally and I usually run the ladder. Okay, so we get four, basically four stations going. One of my other pet peeves, people know that, who know me, know I hate long lines. I hate people standing in line waiting for a drill. I know sometimes you have no choice, but if there's a way to do a drill to change the drill around and have fewer people in line, I think it's always, always better. Okay, any questions on the ladder? Okay. It is easy to do. I think I caught everything right there. All right, Steve, we're going to put this away. Okay. Here we go. One of the things I've learned is you get quick as to how to transition. All right. I want to go into technique. And before I do this, people thought I was just carrying stuff in with this thing. I use sticks. And I don't hit people with this. I'm tell you that. Okay, I might be mean, but I'm not that mean. Okay? Um... We're talking about the shoulders, okay? And I'm actually in the process of designing something with PVC piping. All right, Ski, come on out. You're gonna you're gonna work with me okay. on this. You're gonna stand right there, All right. okay? So hold hold the stick, okay. okay? So what do you gotta do as a defense line? You gotta fight pressure, right? You gotta fight pressure all the time, and you gotta be able to sense pressure, okay? So what we what we do is. Okay, now I got this one running, old NFL guy, okay? We're gonna put the hands, he used the road stick all the time, so I thought it was pretty good if he could do it. So you got your hands, the defense lineman's got his hands in here. Now, here's what I don't like, here's why I'm redesigning this, what I wanna do. My thumbs are in the wrong position, aren't they? All right, because I wanna grab on to this thing, but literally I should be like this. So, you guys who are creative, I'm not a, you know, my family knows I'm mechanically challenged. Okay, I'm terrible. All right, I always figure things, something needs to be fixed. That's why the yellow pages are there. Okay, so I'm going to have a PVC piping with the attachments coming down. So I get short bars, so I can have my hands like this for the defense alignment. Okay, that's my next thing. I haven't created it yet. I haven't had time with recruiting. Okay, but I'm going to be like this. Now, what I'm going to do is tell the defense lineman he's going to get down in his position. The off offense guy is going to stay just, just like he can stay up. I want to be lower. Okay. All right. But now I'm going to tell the defense lineman, you close your eyes. 
Okay? You have no idea where that pressure's coming from. So I close my eyes, start moving one hand to the other. There it is. Okay? Now we come from there, come from there, come from there. Okay? So every time he moves, alright, I gotta I gotta come with that push to counter that. Just like I would in the game. Alright, so now you're gonna come in here. So I'm gonna come in here, okay, close your eyes, Keith. Yep. Alright. Okay, now I'll help tap your feet. Okay? Tap your feet. There you go. Right. Where am I at? Where am I at? Come on, come on, come on. Where am I at? Where am I at? There you go. He's got to come back and forth and get that arm push. And what I'm really looking for when he does it is watch the hip. Watch the hip. Does the hip work into it? Okay? Why do you want the hip? You want that power. All right? You got to have power right there. So we want that hip to move in here. Okay? So he's down here with feet. There it is. Come on. Where, where is that? Where is that? Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Where is it? I'm over here. There you go. You got to get that sense. And it takes time. One of the great things is, you saw these first three drills. I asked our defense lineman, can't mandate anything, NCAA Division Three. Can't man mandate them going to the weight room. They've got to just go in there and know that, hey, it's like a class. I always tell it's like class. You want to go get any class, you better study outside of class. The classroom, right? Unless you're a genius, okay? And then, if you want to be a good football player, you better get in the weight room. Shouldn't have to tell you that. Our guys, defense linemen, though, will finish their drill, their, their weight session, doing a lot of these things right here. They, we just keep the equipment out. I don't hide anything. I figure, you know, two dollar hula hoop. Somebody wants to steal that thing. Who's going to steal a green neon hula? All right, a couple of rice. They can always find sticks. Okay, so they do this. The ladders, the strength coaches have ladders as well, all over the place. So they can do all these things every time they're in the weight room. And we want to teach that balance. Now, one of the things that Ski was getting there, do you notice how his head was starting to come forward? Okay, he's coming in here, he's getting a little top heavy. Okay, because what will happen is, and I'll do this if I think somebody's really getting bad at it, as they start getting top heavy, I was doing, I'm going here, so he's. You know, go go against what I'm doing. Okay. Okay. So if I go this way, we're no. Go there. You go. Okay. Go this way. I pull it down. And see how they keep their balance. Okay. That's my check of them. To see where their balance is at all times. Because we're in a balanced situation at all times. Okay. All right. Any anyway, question? I like that one. Everybody got a broomstick around there? You can go go to you know shop class or whatever like that. Uh, like I said, I'm going to redesign it so that I have PVC piping. It's going to be three pieces of PVC piping. And I got attachments, and, and I want to have the attachments so the hands are basically right in here. So I got to do this, okay? Because this is more conducive to what we what we do at all times, okay? So I, I'm, I'm excited about that in terms of just kind of moving forward with it. All right. Next thing we're going to do is he's going to come down. We said, if you notice when I was doing this, and he just doesn't know my tricks on this one anymore. All right, get down like you're getting down in a four point or six, good six point stance. You're good. Relax it. All right, we're always remember I'm moving my hand to get him started. Okay. All right. So my hand, our guys know this. They'll holler it out. If my hand goes like this run away. Hand goes like that, when I move it, it's run two. It's coming to him. Okay? The hand goes like, comes up, pass. Okay? I give him three commands. We work it every day. So when we're doing things with the starts, they're always getting to read. Run two, run away, pass. And you're going to say, well, what about trap? What you know what? It's either run two, run away, or pass. Everything can be outlined in those in those three terms. We'll get into specifics when we watch film. So we, we, we got a handle on, I don't have any touch on them now, I know it's either a pull or a trap uh, coming. But it's run two, run away to start off with, along with pass. So they get that read, they get that sensory read. The next thing we're gonna do is talk about hand explosion. All right, in my 
years of doing this, I, I've become more and more, how fast you get your hands out in front of you, all right, is going to dictate your success. If you watch, and you can watch in the Super Bowl, watch the defense alignment, okay? Boom! If their hands are right there, they're going to be in great shape, all right? They will be in great shape, okay? So you want to make sure you're working that all the time. So we talk about hands, okay? We talk about hands, hips, and then the feet. Hands, hips, feet. Hands, hips, feet. All right? So the first thing we're going to do is work drills, what we call our hand explosions. Okay? Is how fast can we get the hands to move? Now we have, I'll do this drill, we'll do it with shields. Okay? We will do this on a sled. Okay? Or we will do it, uh, if, if you ever come down to business, you're more than welcome to, you're going to see us, we have actually a brand new indoor practice facility. Yes, I said that right. We have an indoor practice facility, a turf field, practice field. The walls, there's a five yard cushion outside the sidelines and, and, and on either end, have a thick padding along. All right? And the first time I walked in this place, okay, which is basically just about a year ago, okay, I looked at that thing and I'm looking at it and everybody's getting enamored by the field, you know, and all the markings and, you know, the kicker's got a net that comes down, the goal post, all right, all oh, great. I'm looking on, I see the walls, man. Oh, man, this is, you know, this is better sex, man. This is one giant, giant sled. Because the walls are like getting a sled. I can do everything. Oh God, it was great. You know, we use it all the time. We actually, our, our offense and defensive line use the indoor facility for individual drills every day. Even in August, it never doesn't matter. That's where we go. Okay? It, it's great. Because then I don't, I don't need all these shields in between. We can use the walls. But what we're going to do is, what I want to do is get down a six point stance, okay? And what he's going to do, if he sees this flinch, he's going to shoot his hands, all right, into the shield right here. Okay? Do you want me to pop the hips too, Coach? Or just, just, the just the hands right now. Just the hands. There it is, right there. All right? How fast, okay, can he get them out in front of him? How fast, okay? And what you're looking to do is bring those hands from what we talk about from low to high. Because you're going to be doing that if you're in a stance. You're coming from low to high. Okay? How fast? You're not going to raise them up. And this is where, and, and by the way, we film almost everything we do. Um, I've got a point, I always grab some manager, and it, it, things are easy. I just take my iPad around, all right, hand my iPad uh, to some manager and say, okay, I, want, I need you to film some things for a while. I upload it, and our guys watch it, okay? So what I'm looking for, go ahead and six point stance, so gonna, is what I'm going to see is, when this hand, if you're looking at this one, does it go out or is this first movement up? Okay, if it's up, we're wrong. Because what's going to happen? I'm in here and I go like this to do this. The son of a gun on the other side is in my body. He's in my body, he's clamped on. Okay? I ain't going anywhere, am I? I've got to get that extension. I've got to keep that separation right there. So what we're working on when we do this drill, okay? Okay, I'm going to move it, boom, shoot the hands, okay? And all I do is watch the angle of the hands when I do this, okay? Right in there. How fast can he move? You're getting pretty good at that, Steve. All right, on that one. I just do stuff like this all the time, okay? How fast can he get that, those hands out in front of him? To me, that is critical. Okay. That is critical. We're also looking to have those hands, and Ski was really about right on. I'm watching to see where they are in relationship to his eyes. I don't want the hands up here. That's not going to do him any good. I don't need the hands way down here. That's going to be tough. I want them right about eye level, because that's about what's going to happen. Okay? If you think about it right off of their chin, it is where they're going to be. Okay? Now, the next one we're going to do, we do the same thing. Excuse me one second, I have a good question. If they're in a shade, where do you have their hand placed? Good. What do you like? Perfect. All right, so when we get in our shade, we do this on the sled all the time. So now, I'm going to shade them. 
So I'm on this, this side of him. See the shade? All right, so I'm going to be shaded. So now I'm thinking about his left hand is going to be sitting right in here, right on the outside of this thing. And his right hand is right down the middle of this pad. So he's in here, boom, right there. Okay, right there. Okay, great question, Ski. Thank you. All right. That's our next progression we get in, and once they start learning, we get in our shades. Because every, everything we do, we're a four-man front, doesn't mean anything. Okay, we're shaded up on, on all our stuff. Okay? Uh, we do run some three-man front <clears throat> stuff as well. But even then, I'm look, we're looking to shade people or move people. Anyways, if, if you see us in a three-man front, we're probably blitzing. <laughs> as simple as that. Okay? So now the next one we're going to do is, we got to add the second component. We've gone hands, remember we said hands, hip, feet. Okay, so now we're going to try to throw that hip in there. Okay, we're going to throw the hip, and I, I'm going to stay head up to get into the teaching of this first. All right, so it moves, there's the hip, there's the hip coming through. And we tell them, don't worry about landing anybody, belly button. That's what we want. We want that. Throw the hips in a little bit harder. Boom, there you go, that's it, Ski, there you go, good job. Here we go, there you go. The movement, okay, and I don't start a drill. I might be able to talk forever, but I hate starting drills. Okay, so our guys learn how to start. They, they know if they have a shield, they're starting it with the movement of the shield. If they're doing something else, the next guy in line has got his hand out there, moving his hand, giving a read. If we do this on the sled, I literally will have, you know, a sled set up, you know, boom, boom, boom. We have guys standing right in between their hands on the sled, and just, it looks like a you know, uh, three ring circus almost, but you got guys going at different times, doesn't matter to me. I'm looking for those hands and hips. We don't, if we drive this sled, okay, Ski knows this one, that means I'm not in a good mood, okay? Because normally about 99.99999% of the time, I don't drive the sled anywhere. I want the sled to sit, sit in right one spot, okay? Once in a while for fun, okay? My fun, I guess, not their fun. We'll move the sled. Okay? So now he's done six point explosion. We're going to also now get into a three point stance. Okay? And I will let, if you want to talk about technique, I let our guys go into three or four point stance. Our inside guys a lot of times are in four point stances. Where do they feel comfortable? How fast can they get off the ball? If I'm, if I'm unsure what might be better for them, I'll have them do both for a while until we dictate and we work together on what's best for him. Because I don't want to, if a guy's good at a four point, let him go on a four point. Doesn't matter. Okay, he's getting the job done. Okay, it's better at a three point, get him in a three point. Either way. So now we're in here. Now we're going to come out of the three point and we're still not going anywhere. Okay, all we're going to do is the hands and the hips out of the three point. All right, here it is. Boom, boom, there it is. Okay, your feet are coming too soon. Feet are coming too soon. What's that going? Your feet are too soon. Okay, get the hands and hips first. Okay. Hands and hips first. Here we go. Boom, there you go. Okay, I don't even want the feet to come right now. Hands, boom, there it is, there it is, right there. Hips aren't coming, are they guys? All right, so you gotta work on those hips, man. Yes, sir. All right, here we go. Boom, there, there you go. Now the hips came on there. Okay, see the difference, feel the difference on that one? That's what you're looking for. You want those hips coming through there. Hips coming through. Then, when we get into progression, okay, the next one we're going to do is out of the three-point. Now, we do all these against this wall in our indoor, okay, because we don't need to go anywhere. And what happens with the wall is nothing's given. So what happens, they end up in a rolled position, hips underneath, shoulders is what I'm looking for, okay, and they, they basically pause it. They can pause it, and their partner is supposed to be coaching them up. What did they do right? What did they do wrong? Where are their eyes? Okay? Because the eyes should be going right through the thumbs. Okay? I want the eyes going straight ahead. Don't want the eyes looking down the ground. Okay? Turf ain't going to change. It's still going to be green. Okay? Unless I'm in Boise. Okay? Or Eastern Washington where it's red. One of the two. Okay? Otherwise, it's green. Okay? The grass is going to be green. Okay? Unless you're playing a mud game. I don't know what your field looks like. Okay? If they're Aquinas, it could be who knows if it's green or not, right? <laughs> okay? Uh, so uh, that's that's what we're going to be doing right there. Looking at eyes, looking at hand position. Okay. Again, we're looking. I don't want the hands out here. I want to be able to see it. I want this right in here. I want to keep that power going. 
The next one we will do, now we have to use the shields. Okay? Now we're going to go three point where you're, you're going to do hands, hips, and then move your feet. I'm, you're going to stay with me. Okay? Okay, okay we're going to start back here a little bit so we got a little bit of room. We'll take this. All right. We're going to sit up right here. Boom. There it is. Come on. Come on. There you go. Then just start running backwards. All right. Have him bring his feet. What I'm looking for when he's doing this, so is he still going hands first? Is he still going hips second? And then the feet are coming. Okay. If you have one of those, I've got a couple mature coaches in here, the old two-man crawler sled. Uh, Ski knows what I'm talking about because we use this at UWL all the time. Because um, back when I was there, we had one. Uh, I love those. Okay, They don't even need to make them anymore like that, which is too bad. It's probably one of the best sleds there is uh, in terms of moving things. Okay? All right. I know I'm moving, moving out of time here. Here we go. <clears throat> All right, let's get into some things. Pass rush. Okay. Yeah, you're gonna need to take glasses off, man. Yes, sir. All right. Okay. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna you put one on. Okay. okay. Right here. Put it right on though. All right. All right. Okay. How many guys? And I got this from Bunny. I'm just like you. I research all the time. Okay. This is off of YouTube. This is, this is UCLA, this is some of the guys, Cali, guys in California, that have used MMA teaching techniques, all right, to integrate them with defensive line play. Uh, UCLA does a lot of this, all right, um, and there's a lot of NFL guys that are down and uses this stuff all the time. The first premise coming off the of tongue, you can stay right here, all right, is basically I talk about we want to use this forearm almost as a weapon. Now, I'm, I'm literally how I use the term weapon here, okay? But this is, this is part of our tool, okay? And what we're trying to do is teach guys to take this forearm, all right, come in here, and how hard can I hit, okay, with this thing, and stay in balance. There's the key. You've got to stay in balance when you do this. Okay, so the drill we'll do, okay, and I had to work a miracle. If anybody knows Stan's way for, you know, he's very particular in a couple things. These are his babies. He uses this for quarterback footwork drills. He lays them all over the place and they use them in and out. And I steal these from him. So thank God I've known Stan for 30 some years because I'd probably be fired if I was anybody else on our staff. All right, so now here's the other thing is, okay, most of you guys are right handed, right? Correct? First hand, that's why I had him, he put his on the right and mine's on my right. Guess which arm we're using first? Our left. I'm always find ways to work on the weaker part first. Okay? So on this drill, we're going to be just like in here. I want this shield, no, off the side. There you go, right there. Okay? Right in here. So what's going to happen now, I'm going to first, and we're going to kind of move ourselves. All right, he's just, I'm just keeping this here because he's going to go next. All right, so you're going to work a circle. So I'm going to come in here, I'm going to hit, go, come on. See what I'm doing? You see the arm action? It's not straight down. It's got a little bit of a cross coming to it. All right, I'm trying to keep myself in position, so I'm trying to move. Why am I moving in that direction? Because that's where my hips are going to go to finish off the pass rush move. So now we get done, we go around a circle. We're going to do it, come on, not too much down. Too much. There you go. Come on, come on, come on. There you go. Lining up too much. Can you see his hand come all the way up to here? When he was doing that, we got to come down closer. Okay, okay I'm going to go, then you're going to go. Okay, come here. Okay, there you go. We'll come down close. No problem. Okay, take that arm right there. See that? Feel that. You'll have to stop, guys. You got to give him that feel. What are they doing with this? Okay, they got, got to be able to do that. Now, the other thing we'll do is put two on one. You do. Oh, your hands are there. Okay, now what we do is we'll throw one hand, I'll keep them both in here, throw one out, one either way. So now I got to react. Okay, so one comes out, I don't care which one. Now I'm going to do this. All right, and now we finish it. So I'm coming through here, boom. Come right there with the rip. Go right by. Coming back. All right. 
there it is, come here, step here with the rib. So now we can take this to another step, okay? Make sense? All right. So that's that's part of the what I like on that one, okay? Is teaching guys how powerful can they get when they get those arms out of there. The other one that I actually have been working on this this winter. I researched this one, I love it. Okay? Is the hands are gonna come up. I want this hand to come up, come on, slap it away. I want them to see it. Okay? I would I normally start the other way. Is it coming in here? That's the hands coming up. I want to get that out of here. Alright? I want that hand out of here. Wait a minute. What's he doing? Okay? I'm gonna take this. What's he gotta do with that hand? He wants to bring it back, right? I'm gonna help him. I'm gonna pull him right down through here. So the move ends up, hand comes up, I go here, here, and then I go away. I'm trying to get away from him. Work through. And what we'll do is we work a three three man drill here. So if we're out here, okay, see would be here, I'd be here, the guy's going, he's gonna work this arm, the one guy, then he's gonna work the other arm on that guy. And we just rotate around. And it's all, can we get the pull? And when they're doing the pull on this, this slap has got to be fast, but now you got to come in here, and we're going to look to get that tricep. Okay? Just right past that elbow, and pull them down, and come through here. Right in there. Okay? <clears throat> I'm excited about that. Uh, you know, I gave our guys a little video. They go work on it, and I'll see them in April, if they actually practice it or not, because they'll know right away. Where they've done it, okay? So it's on chain and then pull hand I uh, swipe it? Yep. I just pull. Okay. Right down there. That's all you're doing. I right, pull it. Now, the other thing we do, okay, remember we got all this. So we're trying to do, we're coming in here and we're, we're working that hip, okay? And we're working the ribs. You saw my hips kind of flip. One of the things that I allow guys to do and actually teach us is and we we started with a down the line bro. I won't need you in this one. Okay. Okay. So I'm working the line. Okay. And I'm gonna think. Okay. I'm gonna go left hand, left hand clubs. So we're gonna come down. This this is this is how fast we do it. Okay. Anybody coach track? You ever see a track track guy's jog when he's trying to take that little light jog? They they go about this fast, right? Okay. I had a daughter who's a track athlete, so I know how they do this. Okay. <laughs> and we do this. All right. Now what we do, we want to climb past it. You can see my right foot just went behind my left foot. I'm back to here. So I'm here, so backwards karaoke. I come back the other way with my arm. Boom. Boom. And if you notice, what I'm trying to teach guys is, okay, is to keep moving direction of the quarterback. Got to get, get there. Okay? So what you want to do if I try to do this, I come here, okay, I can go here, but it's almost not as natural. And what we do is, see, here's the, here's the, ends up being the final part of the drill. Our guys get used to this, you're just going to stand there like an offensive line. Okay, so I'm done, hands are up. Okay, here it is. I'm going to reach here, I'm going to pull that tricep again. At the same time I'm pulling the tricep, my back leg is coming behind me. And now I'm reaching through, and I'm right here. So now just stand still, don't, don't even move on me, okay? Yes, sir. Ski. All right, I come in here, I club it, I grab tricep as I step behind, I come here, now where's my foot pointed? To the quarterback. Right to the quarterback. So outside edge rush, going here, now I can come right here, and I've ended up on his backside. Okay? I've stacked him in essence. Anybody coaches special teams? I'm actually a special teams coordinator at Dubuque as well. So we talk about stacking, you know, the blocker. We're stacking the blocker here. So I'm going to come through, okay, club, grab him, step behind, there I am. Now, what you will get is, let me keep, I'll tell you exactly, show you exactly what you're going to see. You're going to have some guys here that do this right here, and now they can't do anything. What they're doing, they're going away from everything. Okay? Because they didn't take the arm across. Okay? I talk to them about when they club, when you're working that club, is you're clubbing this arm to get to that arm. 
You want that type of action on from one to the other. So you come in here. Now if you do this, what happens to your hips? They flip when you do it. Now it's easy. Okay? The other thing is if the kid's not very flexible in his hips, I've had these, have one right now. All right, he does this, and they end up shuffling. That comes through here. Because they can't just get that hip to turn. Okay? If they get, if you have a guy like that, here's my, my recommendation. One, put him inside. Okay? Get him out of the outside. Okay? If you have no ability doing that. And, and two is don't let him use that technique. Teach him just pure speed coming around there. Okay? We will do that. We're going to do all these things. Now, when we do this, all these drills that we're just showing right here, I had that third guy who was a quarterback. Okay? At all times. So we finish with quarterback is got his back to me. Okay, gonna strip sack. Quarterback turns to me, puts his arm up, match hands. Okay, because I want that mentality. When we match hands, you hear me talk about that a lot. Let's keep his quarterback. Alright. So now he, he's sitting there. If his eyes are looking right here, right there, I want to match this hand right now. Okay? That's the hand I'm matching. I do not leave. The ground. I don't keep my other hand stays down because I want to be able to, if he pulls it, I want to be able to grab for him. Okay? If he's looking right through this angle right there, now I'm going to match hands. Right here. So we're always constantly working and matching hands. Because to me, in the way we think about defensively, is that pass knockdown, that's as good as sack. And a lot of times, Having play quarterback is just is demoralizing. Because your offensive lineman technically was successful. He kept you away from kept defense lineman away from the quarterback. Quarterback saw his race, he knew where he wanted to throw. He had the space, he throws, and he gets knocked down. Demoralizing. A sack, you can usually say, okay, the offensive lineman screwed up. I held on the ball too long. We get that corrected. How do you correct the fact that the guy just matches hand? That, that gets a little bit more difficult. Okay? All right, how am I doing on time here? You have about five minutes left, Coach. Holy cow. All right. Make sure. All right. Here's one what I want to try to do. Ski remembers this one. You come out here. You could, you could be the offense. I oh, you be defense lineman, okay? We're going to get into this locked up position. How many guys get in here, right? You get in this way right here. We're gonna come, let's back up a little bit, ski so we have a little more room. All right, here we go. This is a little dance move, okay? All right, now, what's gonna happen is he's gonna be leaning into me, all right? And I'm gonna keep him, okay? And he's gonna keep that arm moving, okay? Keep that arm moving, okay, that's good. Okay, what you're trying to teach is, can you get your body moving, all right? Now, the next phase of this, I'm gonna, we're gonna actually, you're gonna come to the office one facing this way. Okay, okay so I'm in here. Yep. Alright, so now we're coming in here. Now what I'm gonna do with our guys is I'm gonna yell release. And when I say release, I'm gonna take this inside hand right here and I'm gonna explode this thing backwards right into here. Okay? So I, that thing is gonna explode and at the same time I'm gonna put my other hand on his hip so I can push off. But his back is okay. So we're going to come around. So right here, see? Okay. okay. So I'm going to move. I'm coming here. Coming. Police. Okay. Come right in there. How fast can you get that done? Get away from me. How hard? And when I do this drill, I'm looking that release hand. It's got to come where the hand ends up above the shoulders. Okay. Now with no pads on, you can really get it up there. But I just, I just know. When they put the shoulder pads and helmets on, you got to basically say, okay, hand above the shoulder right there. All right? Any questions on that one? That's, a, that's another one that, that I like to use uh, right there. All right, consider what we're time. That's good, Steve. Okay. we got to work out in today. I love this stuff, man. All right, questions. Things that maybe I didn't cover, technique. I didn't want to get into scheme stuff. The, ma the other majority of our time that we do is a lot of two-on-one, three-on-one uh, type scheme work. So I'll put a guy in the shade and, and say he's a three technique. 
All right, he's going to shade on the guard. He's going to have a center there. And he's going to have a tackle there. And what a different thing. So we're doing a full you know, zone. Uh, they're working double team like that. Uh, we're hard on getting off, so we're going to try to explode the double team, make the double team guy come flat. All right, we're in it. We're going to try to hold on to this guy. I'm not going to let him go. You want to chip me off, fine, but I'm going to, I'm going to hold on to you. The guy I'm going, going against. That's our kind of way of defeating double team. Right there. Okay? So we do a lot of scheme work. We spend a lot of time. A lot of these things are all my first things that I do. And, of course, you guys know what you're doing. They go through very quickly. They can actually do these without me being there. Uh, which they have to do at times because I'm also special teams coordinator. And they do some of these drills when I'm doing special teams. Um, because defense linemen aren't involved with a lot of our special teams. Like so, questions? No questions? I'll be around most of the day. I ain't going anywhere like that. Um, it's, it's, I'm here to, to answer whatever. Um, again, I talked about early developing that, that whole person. All right, and and one of the things that I think is very important, you know, various philosophies in life. I have my own personal philosophy. Some people know it. Uh, I actually have. Uh, I spent five years head coach of Luther. One of my former players is sitting in the next room over there, uh, and and they know. I talk about being one to know every day in every way. Okay. That's that's my my defense line now. Know that I didn't use that as. When I was really there, I, I did, but I didn't use that vernacular. And it basically means living your life, creating transformation yourself and others to be the best in all you do. I think we need to constantly learn to role model, be that person of significance to others. And we got to teach young people how they can be of significance to others. There's five L's. I talk about five L's um, in in all of our, our situations. The first L is learn. Continue to learn. You want to be successful, continue to learn. Okay. I'm basically 56 years old, been around this thing for a long, long time. Okay. Uh, you know, I got some people that call me grandpa coach now, which is kind of scary. And, and I know I have a lot to learn yet. And I, I still want to keep learning. So you continue to learn. Continue to laugh. What does that really mean? Hey, be able to laugh at yourself, being able to enjoy what you're doing. It's your passion. I haven't worked a day in my life, guys. All right? Enjoy what you're doing. Okay? Continue to live. All right? It's the old Teddy Roosevelt, you know, uh, credit belongs to the person who's actually in the arena. I give a full speech on that. We don't have time for it. Okay? But you want to continue to live life. You want to be in that arena. All right? You, yeah, sometimes it's, it's not going to work out. We've all lost games. Okay, things have happened. All right, you want to continue to love. All right, and by love I mean that care and concern for others. It's like a mom to a child, that unconditional love. And if you do those four L's, the fifth one is very easy. You will leave a legacy. You will leave a legacy. You won't be. You might not be famous. Okay? Very few people are. But you will leave a legacy if you do those four L's right there. Okay, learn, laugh live and love and you will leave that legacy guys it has been a truly a pleasure being here this morning uh like i said i will be around uh i'm very fortunate i get to work for a guy that we've known each other for over 30 years uh, our defense coordinator mike schmidt who was going to do this actually played for us at uw lacrosse when i was there it's the most exciting thing in the world mick miyamoto will be here later this after or later today to talk on some special teams Mick and I actually played together at UW Lacrosse. Uh, he coaches our tight ends. Uh, he does handles kickoff return for us. Uh, so it, it's some great things going on. Uh, if you ever need anything, I have cards here. You can email me. Uh, I have no secrets. Okay? And no secrets whatsoever. Please feel free to ask. Okay? Thank you guys. Have a great day.